Today people praise fighters and wrestlers who have a series of several victories, and, say, Khabib Nurmagomedov with his result of 29-0. Even more so, they call him great, with all due respect to Khabib. But at the end of the 19th early 20th century, his winning streak would not have been considered so phenomenal. After all, at that time there were wrestlers who had not lost for decades and who beat several opponents in an evening, not one or two per year. One such wrestler was Gulam Muhammad, also known as the Great Gama, who could probably be considered the greatest wrestler who ever walked the surface of the earth, with an undefeated career spanning more than five decades. The legend of the Great Gama originated in the mud wrestling pits of rural India before its independence, and his fame and popularity were such that even Bruce Lee drew inspiration from him. Born in Amritsar in 1878, by the age of Tengul was already participating in adult male wrestling championships, where he won many bouts. At the age of 17 he came out on the mat against the champion of India Rahim Baksh, in the end it was declared a draw. After that the strongman began to train purposefully, and in 1910 he became the heavyweight champion of Indian Kushti wrestling. By that time he had fought more than 100 duels, proving to everyone that he had no equal in the country. After being nicknamed the Great Gama, the athlete went to conquer Europe. At the beginning of the 20th century, wrestling was in its heyday in Europe. Such wrestlers as Ivan Podobny, Ivan Zakin, Stanislav Zbyshko and other prominent figures of the time gathered full stadiums and circuses of admiring spectators. At first, in Europe, Gama was a disappointment. In England they did not want him to be admitted to serious tournaments because of his short stature, 170 centimeters. However, he made a smart move, challenging wrestlers from all over the world and showing that he could beat anyone. World champion Stanislav Zbyshko responded to this daring challenge. From the very first seconds of their bout it became clear that the great Gama was much stronger than his opponent. Just in a minute he knocked the world champion to the ground, and then he did not let him get up for some time, so that nobody would have a single doubt in his victory. This is how the Indian wrestler gained recognition and had a full tour in which, again, he was never defeated, defeating such other world champions as Frank Gotch and Benjamin Roller. On many occasions his bouts lasted only a few minutes, and some even ended in less than a minute. After that, on the wave of success, Gama returned to India, where he also defeated his longtime rival Rahim Baksh, thus once again confirming the title of national champion. From generation to generation, legends have been passed down about the outstanding Indian strongman, attributing him incredible strength and power. Some of them say that the wrestler did four, zero squats and three, zero push-ups a day. In addition, he ran a lot in a training bouts that lasted up to three hours in total, and his daily diet included 10 liters of milk, six chickens, and a pound and a half of almond paste. Other legends attribute even greater strength to Gama. According to one of them, he lifted a stone weighing 1 to 100 kilograms, although most likely it is greatly exaggerated, because for example, the world record in deadlift just 501 kilograms, and it was the result of the Icelandic giant Hafta Björnsson a height of 206 centimeters and weighing about 100 pounds, compared to which the great Gama with his height of 170 centimeters would look schoolboy. But, it still does not negate the fact that Gama had extraordinary physical abilities. The great Gama fought till he was 60, never lost, and finished his career in the early 40s. Perhaps, he remained undefeated because he did not manage to meet Padabni or Ali Klitsch. But, Alas, nothing is known about Gama's duels with these fighters. The last years the strong man lived a secluded life and did not bathe in glory. He died in Lahore in 1960 after a long illness. He suffered from asthma and heart disease. Outside India, Gama was remembered only in the 70s. Now he is considered the strongest Indian wrestler of all time and one of the brightest nuggets in the history of wrestling in general.